Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevSecOps project. In this video, we are going to talk about Jenkins installation. So the agenda for today is we are going to download the Jenkins, we are going to install it, we are going to talk a bit about Jenkins Debian packages, we are going to do the initial setup and at the end we are going to do a very basic project creation. Now in this video, if you're if you're watching this video for the first time, uh, this is a part of DevSecOps project and please subscribe the channel uh, because it really motivates me to create more content like this. So without further ado, let's dive right into the demo part. Okay, so let's do the installation over here. And as you can see on my screen, this is package.jenkins.iodbind. So this is the official link that we are going to use because uh, sometimes what happens is Linux changes its GPG, uh, uh, the, the keys, all right? So this is the best thing you can come and uh, go through it and install it. So all we have to do is we just go over here and type terminal over here and we are using this terminal to install everything. Okay. So the first thing that you have to do is type sudo su because everything needs sudo privileges or os boxes dot o r g. That should be the password. Perfect. Let me clear this and let's use one by one. So this is a curl command that has to be used. Uh, I'll just copy this whole of it, paste it over here and hit enter. Command curl not found, but can be installed. Okay, so let's install. So apt install curl. Okay, so let it install and it can take up to some time depending on your internet speed. So it is fetching the database progress is 80% and then let it happen. Okay, perfect, this is done. Now the previous command hit enter and this is done. Okay. Now then add Jenkins, add a Jenkins APT repository over here entry. So let's copy this, paste it over here, hit enter. Okay. This is done. Now update your local package index then finally install Jenkins. So let us update the local package index and let's see what happens. Control V hit enter. It's working, 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 reading packages list. Okay, this is perfect. Let me clear the clutter over here. And we need an open JDK 11. So you need JDK for this, okay. So let it install, it'll ask for the permission, hit Y, and then it'll start the installation part. Now this can take up to some time because uh, first of all, it'll install the open JDK. Now why I showed you this, because I could have uh, given the commands as well. See, if you come over here and it will be updated almost every time or every year it has, uh, if Linux uh, or Jenkins is going to change their GPG key. So this will be updated. So I don't want to keep you waiting and go into some kind of, uh, uh, some kind of problem that, uh, that will take you a lot of, of your learning time. Okay. So this is, uh, this is, I think this part is done. Next part, we have to do this. So let me see if this has been downloaded. It's only 19%. Okay, so let's just wait and I'll just fast forward this video. Okay, so looks like this part is completed. Now the next step has to be installing Jenkins. Okay, so I'll just copy this, paste it over here and hit enter. And let's see what that happens. So it's asking, do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. And then it'll take its own sweet time to complete that. So it's looking for somewhere close to 90 MB file and my current speed is 119 KB per second in this VM. Okay, so I'll wait for some another few minutes. Let's see uh, when, when I fast forward this video. Okay, so seems like it is done. Let me clear the clutter over here and let's go back to our this. Okay, so the APT package was signed using this key. You need to explicitly install a supported Java environment from your distribution and describe it or another Java vendor. Okay, so I think uh, this part is completed. Let's go back and check whether everything is fine or not and we'll see. Okay, so let's go back to our terminal and then check sudo system ctl status Jenkins. Let's see what happens. Oh, perfect. It is saying that it is active and running. So it means that our Jenkins has been installed. So what we'll do is we'll go to the browser type localhost colon 8080 over here and let's see if it comes up. Perfect, it has come up. So unlock Jenkins. To ensure Jenkins is securely set up by administrator, this and this. So you have to 
copy this to check the password so copy this go over here go to terminal hit enter I mean you can open a new terminal as well or just control C over here it'll keep on running and do cat paste it over here and hit enter cat sudo no such file or directly oh I'm sorry about that cat you have to copy this and you have to paste it over here hit enter and you can see this is the password that we have got copy this paste it over here do continue and if you want to save it you can save it otherwise not install suggested plugins select plugins to install that's totally depends on you if you click over here it will take its own sweet time like 15 to 30 minutes and this will keep on happening it will install everything timestamper over spill time okay so let it happen and I'll just fast forward this video so the version is Jenkins 2.374 at the time of recording this video all right so uh, yeah let it happen and I'll just fast forward this video okay so as you can see that it has been installed so it's asking for a username so you can give anything as username I'll give my name Ravish I'll give the password Ravish confirm password Ravish I mean it, it's totally upon you you can give anything and email address so I'll just give a uh, logic ops lab at rate gmail.com so like you can give anything even if you do not give a email ID like logic ops lab at rate logic ops lab dot com or whatever your name that's that's not gonna matter okay so I'll quickly give this and save and continue okay so this is done I guess it might say take some time okay in the meantime I'll just go over here and I'll just system CTL CTL status Jenkins right so this is running so what I have to do I'll just enable it uh, because every time when it starts you don't have to go and start it okay so I'll just give a sudo over here synchronizing state of Jenkins with sysv script this and this install executing this and perfect so this is enabled now okay okay so once done this will pop up and you can just click on save and start using Jenkins and this is I think this is done okay so let's uh, do the quick checkup so I'll just create a new item I'll get just give test I'll just give a freestyle project okay I'll just description test uh, I think my spelling is wrong I don't think I have to do anything uh, yeah I think everything is done apply save and you can see that the project test has been created over here all right if you want to run it you can run it from here but there is nothing to be done okay so I'm able to create a project over here and this is installed all right so uh, I hope uh, everything is clear to you folks and if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one